She is growing. Uh, uh, I gotta go get it. Yeah, I gotta keep winning. Yeah, yeah, gotta feed my feelings, cause ain't no bone. What is up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a different type of video. As you guys can tell, I did not do my normal intro like I normally would because as you read from the title, today is going to be more of a life update video. So today we're really just going to sit down and talk about things I've been dealing with body positivity, confidence, and transformation. And these are the things that I've struggled with and even other things I've been dealing with throughout my journey of life. <laughs> so if you're interested in today's video, definitely keep on watching. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe if you guys enjoy videos like this. And let's get into the tea. I have a lot. I want to honestly discuss before we get started I'm I'm gonna go grab something to drink because I'm not feeling the best today and I it's gonna lay <laughs> and your girl's kind of thirsty so I'm gonna go grab something to drink and I'll be right back all right yes cold me veggie I'm like my wine glasses so I feel expensive so I drink things out of wine glasses anyway I want to sit down with you and I really want to have like a really deep conversation because I feel like on my channel I show you guys a lot of like quality videos, you know, makeup videos, hair videos, girl talks, podcasts, but I never really sit down with you guys and let you know what type of person I am or who I am in general. I just want to sit down with you guys and truly have like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. This year and last year have been one of the toughest years ever especially like knowing that i've dealt with moving from a whole new city dealing with homelessness so much other stuff that uh, we're gonna talk about in this video i don't even know where to start to be honest first things first i want to just talk to you guys about something that i personally been dealing with and that is really confidence so as of 2020 i came out of a relationship it was really tough for me because it was a time where I needed that person most and they weren't there and I was dealing with you know leaving from a new city to come where I am now and some of you guys may not know but I live in Jacksonville Florida and it was a huge transition and I was just going through so much emotionally I was hanging around a bunch of people that weren't really my friends and you know I was going through this phase where it was like I was finding who I was and, and knowing my worth as a person. And I feel like 2020 was really like that stepping stone to really discover who I am and what I liked. After that huge transition, I, a couple months in, or I think a couple year, a year in, yeah, a year in and a couple of months, I go homeless for about six months. And during the six months, I had the ability to live with my mom and my sister at the time. During that period, I was like really like focusing on me and my mental health and like how I can be better as a person, how I can develop myself, how I can be just a better, well-rounded individual. And my mom really helped me during that phase of my life and that I had the most support from my mom when the time was needed. And I appreciate her for so much and it's crazy. And the fact that I dealt with low self-esteem and then I came here and I kind of like found myself and I would definitely say my spirituality played a huge role in this and it's just been crazy and during that period of time when I was dealing with homelessness and being alone and being by myself for once I started loving myself truly and authentically and honestly and truly only by the grace of God did I overcome a lot of issues like i was dealing with like depression and really bad anxiety and it was just so much and this is why i started my channel to begin with because i don't want to show you guys just the glitz and glamour of being an influencer or being a content creator and a producer or a creative director i don't want you guys to just see me and idolize my life i actually want you guys to look at my life 
and honestly learn from it. And that's the biggest reason I feel like this year I've really narrowed down what I want my channel to be because before like I knew what I wanted I wanted to post videos but I didn't know what my mission was I didn't know what I was here to really do and now I say as it's 2021 I see like yo like I really want to help women develop themselves I want my life to be a living and walking testament of having the ability to grow as an individual, as a woman, as a minority. And I want women to see like it's possible to develop yourself and break bad habits and unlearn trauma responses that I went through or you've been through before. And I'm so grateful to know I have family, close people, and, and very much a lot of support from outside sources that believe in who I am and me and what I aspire to be. Dealing with so many fake friends has been a thing for me. I've always been that person to give so much and, and care and love and, and, and check up. And I realized like the people I was around weren't really doing the same. It was like a one-way street for me. When I found the one and true savior, which is Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I realized after finding that peace was I truly sustained. I thought I could find it in drugs. I thought I could find it with having multiple relationships, filling it with distractions. And 2020 and 2021, my life has shifted and transformed in such a huge way. It is crazy to think I am in a position in which I prayed for three years ago. That's why I'm making it my mission as a content creator, a creative director, producer, to show you what it's really like behind the scenes. Like, not everything I do, I'm in the mood to do, if I can be 100% honest. Like, there's days where I literally don't want to do things, but I do it because I know it's something I gotta do. I have to do. And there's no and if or buts about it. And I know that I'll be inspiring women across the globe to know that it's possible to get to a place in your life where you're officially happy without other people's approval, without the need of other people to tell you what you should be. Being 20, about to be 21, there's so much pressure on women, but especially minority women, to like have it all figured out. And I'm realizing as I get older, like, you don't have to have it figured out. You just have to have a plan and a vision for your life because where there is no vision, my people perish. You know what I'm saying? Where there is no goal or destination or target, you will forever be shooting at a non-existent target. You know, and as we get older, as women, I think we need to realize that self-development is going to be the biggest thing you need to acquire in your 20s and I'm realizing the importance of it because I've been blessed enough to have mentors and boss women in my family to be the example of what it is like to be a strong woman and femininity is another one I realized as I was getting confident or growing my confidence I realized it wasn't the materialistic things it wasn't the jewelry it wasn't the makeup it wasn't when i got my hair done that i felt confident it's the ability to look at yourself raw naked look at yourself in the mirror and know like at the end of the day you're gorgeous and that was something that was really hard because i would look in the mirror sometimes like i know some of you guys are probably looking at me and you're probably like oh you're so pretty i was never this confident like i was like the last person you would think would be talking with so much confidence and boldness because i saw myself as hideous because of what the opinions of other people and this ideology of perfection that makeup industry tried to sell me and as I got older I realized like listen if I'm gonna be someone I'm gonna be the person that I was made to be I want to change this idea that every influencer and creator has to be perfect in order to sell someone something so this person can be a loyal follower like it's more than just about followers it's more than just about popularity to me it's more about like how many people can I help by them seeing my life and taking what I've done in my life and applying it to their their life. There's no one perfect and if we are trying to reach this 
perfection or this idea of perfection is non-existent. I feel as though women need to know their worth. Women, we have a lot on our plate. We have a lot of responsibilities as we get older. And you know, my mom is one of the biggest examples for me. My mom is a hardworking woman. She's taking care of five kids. She's run a household by herself. And the fact that I, I was blessed enough to see what a hard, independent woman looks like, I want to be able to show other women who weren't given that ability to be shown that, to show them that it is possible and it does exist. No matter what industry you're in, it is possible to reach your dreams. Honestly, life now has been progressing. Am I a perfect person? No. But am I a growing person? Yes. Like my personal development has been drastic. It's 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 crazy to think like I'm in a position in which I would have never dreamed. And I have so many books in which I want to show you guys, which I actually want to make a video of like my top 10 or five books that I recommend any woman looking for self-development to read because it has not only changed my paradigm and the way that I view the world, but it has changed the way I speak to people, the way I present myself in the world, and the way I bring value. Everything is so correlated and, and it's crazy that I wish I'd seen this sooner. Sometimes it's okay to be misunderstood. Where misunderstanding is, clarity is to be found. You know, for a long time I didn't know what I was doing and now it's clear. I know what my mission is, I know what my goal is, and I know who I'm meant to help. And it's meant to help other women who felt like me in high school, who felt like no one understood them, who felt alone. And you want to be a well-rounded individual. Listen, I know how you feel. And never forget that just because you're not where you want to be doesn't mean you're going to never make it to where you want to be. Focus on the here, focus on the now. And that's what I realized, especially in 2021, is focusing more on the now than focusing on the future and michael todd if you don't know who he is i recommend any woman to really look at his videos and watch his sermon here is holy and he will literally describe to you what i'm saying now like we need to focus on the here and the now because if we're so focused on there we'll never make it there if we don't focus on here overall i have been going through roller coasters of emotions. And I never want someone to look at my life and think that I have it figured out. And that's what I want women to know. I don't have it figured out. I literally am taking it day by day, step by step, and I'm remembering that this journey that I'm on is only making me stronger as a woman. I want you to like look at me and realize like I'm developing, I'm growing every single day it's hard there's days where i wake up out of bed and i don't feel like doing what i want to do but i know that at the end of the day someone through this lens is going to see this video and connect with me and understand that they're not alone and and honestly this is why i wanted to do this type of video because this is something i don't normally do on my channel and i wanted to do it because i was like you know what like let me stop trying to post like content where it's like only me doing great like let me show you guys what it's actually like to be me i wake up and i do not feel like working out i do not feel like going to the gym i do not feel like recording videos i remember the bigger goal i remember the bigger vision i remember the bigger plan for my life and i realize like it's not about me it's not about me like everything i do is not about me i don't i don't make these videos because it's about me i make these videos because i know it's going to help someone it's going to touch someone and it's going to really connect with someone and later down on the road like i'm going to look back and realize like whoa i am where i am today by the grace of god but it's because of the days i didn't want to do it is where it mattered most self-development is all about choice we make choices on a daily basis and i'm realizing that as i get like as i get older i'm like dang i had a lot of options and opportunities to do something and i never did it because of what my comfortability and that was my biggest thing i was wrapped around the fact that if i didn't feel like it i wasn't going to do it when you let your life be determined based on your emotions you realize you don't really go far and then you have all your fingers pointing to everybody else but you and that's something i realized as well is like responsibility is such a huge one i'm learning now to take responsibility when i'm wrong and growing meaningful relationships that was like the hardest thing for me that had huge trust issues i've been done wrong by so many different people i always remembered like listen 
They were here and they had an expiration date. But sometimes what we like to do is hold on to things and people that are showing you the signs for why they need to go. But because we don't like the idea of letting go, we tend to hold on to things that are bad for us. And when I realized like, you know what? People will stay when they want to stay. And people will leave and they will walk away, not have a reason. And people will come in your life to teach and people will come in your life where you learn from them. During my growth journey, I realized so much plays into developing yourself as a woman, as a person in general. There's so much work that has to be done within that if you don't do it, you will hinder yourself and the person that you're meant to be in the future. And that was the toughest pill I had to swallow as of 2020 was it's not about you everything you do is not about you it's about the people connected to your name I've also realized that creating meaningful relationships with people long-lasting relationships is way more important than a dollar bill and followers and when I realized that I was like you know what I've been looking at this all backwards and my transformation and just the way I think now is I'm thankful for all the people who came in my life and that I've met ever crossed paths with I'm just so blessed if I never met these people I wouldn't be who I am today and I have to thank every single one of them for making me a stronger and better person and I have no hate and I only wish them the best in life because I'm definitely where I am today because of them but everything happens for a reason and I'm blessed to know my family has been one of the biggest reasons for my motivation to continue and to move forward. But yeah, <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and you guys can really look at my life and understand my life isn't perfect, <laughs> okay? Like, just as much as you're struggling, I'm struggling as well. And I don't want you to ever look at my life and be like, she just got some figured out. She's just consistent and just... I push myself to my limits and that's the only difference. We all have 24 hours. It just depends on how you're going to use yours. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and really got something out of this video. I know this is not the type of video I would normally post, but I really felt like I wanted to do this. I wanted people to get a little insight of who I am. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that being said, <laughs> stay crusty. I will see you beautiful ladies in the next video. Bye guys.